Welcome everyone. Who will I marry? Who will you marry? Who will be your future spouse is today's timeless pick a card. We're looking into the details of who this person is psychologically, um, how they behave, what they look like, the circumstances around the time you meet, and what's going on in general, and how the relationship will go, anything we can find out for you guys. So, on the left hand side, we have option one with the butterfly, option two the fish, option three the moth, and option four the crow. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can have a closer look at the cards. Timestamps are in the description box. If you need more time to choose, you can pause the video now. See you at your pile. Welcome to everyone who chose the butterfly. This is all about who is going to be your future spouse, who you will marry. Okay. Um, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. I hope you enjoy the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like the reading. And if you'd like to see more on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. All right. So, okay, you could have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart strongly, or your future spouse could have these strong placements in their chart. It could also be that both of you do. By a strong presence, I mean placements of air signs and let's say Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, or North Node, or Midheaven, okay, for example. Okay, you could be someone who is currently undergoing a lot of change and transformation in your life. This person could be going through the same. It could be that when you meet this person, that's what's going on. Your future spouse is definitely someone who is very cheerful, very graceful. They are somewhat sensitive and fragile at times, and they can get easily frustrated, though. This person likes to have a daily routine so that they can find balance in their daily routine. You could be going through a period of transition right now. You could meet this person while you're going through a period of transition. This person could be going through a period of transition, meaning uh, changes in relationships, job, career, places, um, circumstances, countries, cities, home, whatever. Or this could imply a great change that will happen as you both will transform after you meet a lot of um, moving pieces. I'm seeing moving pieces as a consequence of you coming together. Okay? All right. Um, I also see once you're in this relationship, I do see a very healthy routine for both of you. You both finding really healthy routines and thriving on those healthy routines. Okay, who is your future spouse? More about, okay, we have half faith. Okay, so this person could either be religious or they could be someone who just has a lot of faith in the universe or they are faithful. This will be someone who definitely will be faithful. The number 22 could be relevant, the number 4. This is definitely someone who likes their routines, and I feel that you're both going to match that vibration. You both love to have your routines. Um, this person, if they're a feminine energy, they like to wear something on their head, like a scarf or something, a headscarf. Could be a possibility. It's not going to be for all of you, or maybe you do, okay? Take what resonates. Now, all these details, just take what resonates. Um, faithful. Someone who has faith in trust in the universe, in God, or in some kind of religion. Possibly. Religion doesn't have to apply, okay? Not everyone is going to be religious, necessarily. Okay, we have procrastination. It could be that when you meet this person, you are procrastinating. Let me just open the frame a little bit to see if we can get more. Let me just move this. More space here because 
it doesn't look like we have a lot of space. I didn't calculate this right. So maybe, yeah, the moving pieces, again, it, it may be that you don't have your life quite together when you meet this person, and there's still a lot of mo moving pieces, or there will be. So You may be procrastinating in getting organized, or there's something to do here with the number eight. This person could be a procrastinator. They could have a lot of ideas that they sleep on. I'm seeing dark hair or dark brown hair, either you or this person or both of you. The number eight. This person is working towards stability and long-lasting prosperity, stable prosperity. I feel that with the number eight being here and the number four, I feel that it will be a long-lasting union and you will both be very committed to each other on a daily basis spending a lot of time together or working towards something together. You could even end up working together. You could meet this person when you'd meet, maybe you're both procrastinators or there will be a slow start. This will be a slow start, but it's slow burning and slow and steady wins the race. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. But there could be some procrastination when it comes to getting to that level of full commitment right in the beginning. Okay, we have child nature. This is someone who enjoys nature and animals. Animals like this person as well. And they have almost like a telepathic communication with animals. Rabbit, someone here could be of the year of the rabbit, okay, in the Chinese astrology. But again, it doesn't have to be. Um, this person thrives in nature we have mystic. Okay, this person could be highly intuitive, psychic, intimately united with the divine. Again, I'm seeing a lot of dark hair and possibly dark to light, light to dark skin. So I'm reading for a lot of people here. So take what resonates. Very um, highly psychic and clairvoyant, clairsentient, claircognizant. You're going to feel like this is destined. It's definitely a destined union, and I feel you're both either have the same life purpose or your life purposes are very similar or complement each other. It could be that you come into union with this person once you are following your life purpose, once you have found out what your life purpose is, and once you allow yourself to move out of a comfort zone. Uh, or maybe even this person. So it could be that both of you at the beginning procrastinating on this because it's uncomfortable and it takes moving out of a comfort zone. And there would be a lot of moving pieces for this to happen. Um, it would take both of you standing in your integrity, being genuine and authentic for this to work, which is I feel what's going to happen because this is your future spouse. 11th house. This could start as a friendship. I am seeing two people in flames, so I'm seeing possibly twin flames, and especially with the 11 there. I'm seeing strong Aquarius energy. could be somewhere strongly, but it starts with a friendship, and you may meet through other people or through a community of people. Um, and you both have like a shared vision of what the future should be, or humanity, or you're going to work on a long-term goal with this person. It's like you're going to have something in common that you're going to work toward. And I feel a startup. You're going to start something up here, either a project or a business that you're going to carry into the future. I feel when you two come together, you're going to positively influence a lot of other people because you have so much love that you share that it will be felt around you. Mars, action. Yeah, there's a lot of desire here and a lot of... A very energetic exchange between the two of you, very sensual energy. Um, you both um, take action toward each other. I feel this is someone who is slightly competitive, okay? They could be into boxing or exercising, but this person is very attractive, very attractive, and they're a natural born leader. They could be a little bit impatient, they could be a little bit impulsive. Um, 
and how they they deal with their anger they 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 do they work out they exercise to regulate them their 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 energy because they are so highly energetic and they have a high sex drive that they find healthy ways to deal with that so this is someone who has a healthy routine here with when it comes to exercising and taking care of themselves Capricorn. This person could have strong Capricorn in their chart. They could be their own boss. They could have their own business. This is someone who takes their business seriously, their work, their, their hard workers. They are ambitious. They're very responsible, but they take a long time to kind of take action on things sometimes because they like to take calculated risks. They have a strong sense of reality and they're very structured. They are traditional and they like traditional relationships. But this is someone who could be a little bit rigid and reserved, but definitely someone that is not easily defeatable. This is someone who is very hard to take down. This is someone who will not be taken down very down to earth as well and they're prepared for every scenario they're very competent competent with their work and they're highly regarded by many people when it comes to what they do for work or their business or how they're seen they are very respected and this person could even have like a following or they could have an online business or just a very successful business that a lot of people like, need, um, whatever they are selling or doing, they're getting a lot of clients and they're selling a lot of products or services. This is someone very accomplished. Okay, they could have some level of fame. They could have had some level of fame. Okay. Definitely someone who is not to be messed with. They're a warrior. They are good at defending themselves if they have to okay they'll definitely be very protective of you yeah this person is a strategist they're very strategic with how they move with their life they could be someone who journals who makes a lot of plans ahead for progress because we do have the number 21 there the number three could also be relevant they're also constantly making progress they journal, they lock things in, they tick off their tasks every day, and they're just very strategic with their life. They like to take calculated risks. Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, 37. This person has a strong sense of self, they're confident, they are joyful for the most part, they are very strong people, um, and they're very brave. This is someone who is brave, but they just don't like to... to to get it wrong, okay? Um, happy family. This person, you and this person will have a sense that you have a very happy family. Um, a lot of emotional fulfillment it, to be drawn from this connection. You could end up having kids together or blending families. And even if you don't have kids or if you don't blend families, sorry I had to pick a card up from the floor, you will be very happy even if it's just the two of you or even if you just have animals together or even if it's just the two of you. There's just a lot of bliss, stability, joy, and emotional fulfillment here. Happiness, okay? Appreciation. Your future spouse is definitely someone who will appreciate you very much and you will know this. Um, they will be very expressive of their appreciation toward you. Uh, the number 15 could be relevant. The number six, they are Someone who's definitely attracts a lot of abundance, prosperity, and love toward them. And they are loved by many people. They are appreciated by many people. And a lot of people find them attractive and even want them. Um, this is someone who's also very appreciative of the little things in life. They, The little things that are not so little, that are the big things that most people think are little things and take for granted but they really are very grateful for just things that most people should be grateful for and not many times are. Um, as someone who dresses well, okay, we have concern. If this is a masculine energy, the masculine could be older. 
So if it's a feminine, younger, the number 33, you're both connected to the Ascended Masters and you'll both create a lot of abundance and prosperity together and that you will share a deep love as well. This person, if they're the masculine, they will show a lot of concern toward you because they do appreciate you so much and they definitely don't want to lose you. And if you're the feminine, um, this is someone who will constantly be concerned about you and you will constantly appreciate this person's concern and this person's care. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we have? The clock? Okay, yeah, this needs time. It will take time. So it's not going to be... Because someone is healing something, it will take time to make progress. Because, again, there will be procrastination. Because someone is very strategic here. Either you or this person, or both of you. And someone will be closing out cycles and healing from something. But there is unconditional love here. You will love kissing each other, or you will blow kisses at each other from a distance. There's a lot of giving and receiving, affection, and falling in love while healing something and closing out cycles. Uh, so this will be happening at the same time. So again, a transition, but this is true love, okay? This is the romance of a lifetime. This will be your true love. There could be a connection here to Cleopatra and Julius Caesar or Mark Anthony. That could mean something. Um, yeah, someone will be releasing their ex still, clearing the energy from an ex relationship here, apparently. That's the healing that is needed to accommodate this new love because this new person will definitely stir your romantic feelings or vice versa. Yeah, getting to know each other. It's going to be like you're going to stay in this phase of getting to know each other for a while. As you reveal your most inner, innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So this is taking time, but that also means that you will have a deeper bond than most relationships because you will get to know each other on a deeper level before you are able to get to other levels of maybe um, physical intimacy, okay? That the physical intimacy will take some time. Um, Page of Pentacles. This will be new territory for you, okay? This is definitely something you're not used to or they're not used to. It will take a lot of contemplation, hence why it takes so long as well. Um, someone will be contemplating this for quite some time and, and coming up with a strategy and maybe even procrastinating on, on this because of healing and closing cycles and releasing a past energy to accommodate this. And so getting to know you phase will, will last some time. It could last years, okay? I'm not going to lie, but it's definitely going to, whatever this starts, it's going to last a very, very long time. And it's there, the, the time it takes is there to create some solid, sturdy foundations that will take you both into the future, into a long-lasting, stable, healthy, um, prosperous relationship. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person definitely could be someone who is very rational, needs to explain things on a mental level, mostly. Um, or maybe you're this person. So I would say... Um, if you are the feminine watching this, you are the psychic one, and your masculine is the rational one, more 3D, more mental, and you are more intuitive, more spiritual. And if you're the masculine watching this, you're maybe the one who's more, you know, um, likes to process things more on a mental level, and your feminine is the more intuitive, psychic, and um, psychic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I feel whoever takes longer with this will be the one who is stuck more in the mental. The one who is more intuitive is the one who is more ready to move forward. Three of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot to contemplate, a lot of moving pieces. Definitely some time of a wait here because there could be a long distance between the two of you or just other things that need to shape up before this can come together. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There would have to be an ending to certain circumstances, places, situations, other relationships before this can happen. So I feel you meet each other and then a transition starts or you, you will be going through a transition. And this waiting phase could be Nine of Swords, a little bit worrisome to one or both of you. Uh, it could bring some sleepless nights, some worry, some anxiety about the future, some concern even if this will ever work out. But this is your future spouse, so it will. 
Eight of Wands, even though there's a lot of waiting here, there's definitely a lot of passion, a lot of energetic communication, a lot of central exchange, uh, could be from a distance. Um, Queen of Cups, yeah, the intuitive one. Ooh, I love how this synchronizes with that mystic up there. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but yeah, the feminine energy is definitely the more intuitive one and more with more of an open heart. The, the masculine energy is very guarded at first. The wheel, yeah, there will have to be moving pieces, but there will be divine intervention and shifts need to take place so this can move forward. So it, it may take a while because of that. Temperance, yeah, a lot of waiting, a lot of patience, a lot of divine timing here for these healings and cycles to close. But this is a higher level soulmate. Um, Sagittarius energy strongly here. Um, but you both kind of like help each other heal and transmute negative to positive energy. There's definitely divine alchemy here. Um, oh, and the King of Cups. So I feel exactly the, the King of Swords turns into this King of Cups eventually, um, appeasing, I feel, the feminine's anxiety as well. And as anxious as the masculine may feel to transition into someone who is more willing to open their heart and be expressive of their love, their love is definitely felt, not always expressed verbally, but it's there and it's big. And you are divine counterparts here because we have the King and Queen of Cups. It's it's a match, okay? It's definitely a match. And uh, yeah, the masculine could also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio strongly, or some of these strongly in their chart. Um, or this could be you. Um uh, yeah, I mean, and the masculine could be anxious about endings or moving pieces or transitions here um, because they do maybe like their routines. Okay, we have the dolphin, so the dolphin could be significant to someone here. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So, um, yeah, someone here could be working on money and receiving money from past work here. We have the boot. So increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So someone may be increasing their efforts to make money before achieving their goals, and that could be why this this start is so um, so slow. Because especially I feel the masculine here is someone who wants to make sure that their finances are okay, because that's masculine energy. They need their money to be okay to feel. Um, worthy right and so there could be some issue with um, a sense of strength and stability that they need to achieve before they can move this further october could be someone's birthday or could be a significant time for a union because i do see these two people together or for connecting in some way and we have happiness but this is going to be a very happy relationship a very happy connection and in, in october someone is going to be very happy Right now, the advice is to surrender to the divine because this is taking divine timing. And the more you can just relax and not worry about when this is going to happen, you know, the more you can. And, and you know, if you're someone who is procrastinating on your own goals right now, don't do that because it's not going to, it's only going to delay things further. Okay. Um, and we have ask for help. I'm seeing what looks like a younger feminine energy, an older masculine feminine uh, masculine energy, and we have the number 14, which is again temperance, so we have 14, 14, 5, 5, so big changes need to take place. I feel that the masculine will be very nurturing uh, at the end of the day and will be very appeasing to this female energy, feminine energy, who will feel very nourished and very taken care of, even if energetically and verbally or just on an energetic level while things develop here. The masculine will be very supportive of the feminine energy and vice versa. And if you ask this, if you're the feminine, if you ask this masculine for help, this masculine will always be um, there to help you and vice versa if you're the masculine. Um, and I feel this is so cute. It's just so beautiful how she seems to be ready to just be there for this masculine and almost, you know, Wait to see if there's anything he needs. And willing to support this masculine in the way that this masculine really truly needs and vice versa. So the getting to know each other phase will be also about learning about what really 
what you both need from each other and taking your time to learn how to accommodate that for each other. The masculine energy will like to touch the feminine's head and hair a lot and will be very compassionate toward the feminine energy. Um, and the feminine will just adore this mask. They will just adore each other. Look how they're looking at each other. They're just ad adoring each other. They just adore each other. That's beautiful. Love who you are. Yeah, you both need to work on this. Um, yeah, the eight, procrastinating. Someone could be procrastinating on this healing. This will show up for you or this will come together once you fully love who you are. And this could be a journey for both of you um, of knowing your divinity and how delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life and love have to offer before this can come together. And maybe the masculine even struggles a little bit with accepting this as well. But once you both do this work, there will be a lot of romance. You will lavish each other uh, with with attention and affection, and you will probably even dance together, laugh together a lot. The number 25 could be relevant, the number 7. This is definitely a spiritual connection. I feel you two are already dancing in the ethers, in the 5D and the 7D. Embrace your emotions. Yeah, I feel the masculine will learn how to embrace their emotions through this and allow their feelings to surface and be accepted and accept their feelings in contact with this feminine energy. The number 18 and the number 9 could be relevant here. This will be like your last relationship for both of you, and you will stay together till the end is what I see here. Um, unicorn, it's very unique kind of connection. The person you're going to marry is very unique to you, someone like, unlike anyone you've ever met, and you can't replicate this energy or this person. You just can't find this person in anyone else. That's how special you are to each other is what I see here. So beautiful, beautiful reading. I love this energy. I don't even want to touch it anymore. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Pile 1, and let me know how this resonates for you. Um, if it did not, go ahead and choose another pile. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, and, sh and, sh and subscribing and sharing these videos. It helps the channel. It helps you bring you more. And if you want to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. If you want to know about my healing bracelets, you can find a link in the description box with a special discount code. And if you want to know all about my services, including life purpose reports, readings, um, etc., you can email me and I'll send you the list. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome everyone who chose the fish. This is all about your future spouse. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Love to have you here. I hope you enjoy the channel. And if you like my videos, give it a give, give them a thumbs up. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. If you can't watch this right now, go ahead and save it so you can watch it later and share this with someone you feel may need this message. If you want to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Moving into your reading. Okay, who is this person? Who are you? Okay, someone here could have strong Pisces in their chart. Doesn't have to be. Possibly strong Cancerian energy or Scorpio. Water sign strongly in the big um, six, seven, eight. I would say could be in Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, or Midheaven or North Node, okay? Um, some of these or one of these signs could be in those placements. This is someone who you meet while you're feeling restless, changing your focus off something, and lost, feeling lost in the current of life. Um, this person could be someone who's restless, who has a trouble focusing, possibly, and who maybe is feeling lost in the current as well. We're gonna find out more about this person. This person travels a lot. They are very adaptable, very flexible. They could change their mind often. They could often get distracted and there's someone who needs to set small goals and accomplish them one at a time. Otherwise, they may lose their focus. So this person may have a little bit ADHD. If you feel this is not your person, this could be you. Just flip the switch on you know, who that could be here. Um, someone. This is someone who definitely likes to keep it moving, likes to keep it moving, and someone who is highly intuitive. Entrapment. Yeah, you could be trapped in some way in your mind or in a situation when you meet this person. They could be trapped trapped in a in spiritual growth, in a cycle of spiritual growth, possibly with the number 34 there being a 7. 
34 could be relevant, 7 could be relevant. They, this could be someone you meet while you're under someone else's manipulation. It could be even your own mind allowing this manipulation, or this could be someone who has been manipulated in the past, or people try to manipulate them, and they are feeling trapped, and that's why they kind of want to keep it moving. Uh, a trapped fish in an aquarium when they want to be in the sea. Now, that, again, this could be you. Say what you mean. This person is definitely assertive. They do say what they mean, or they are trapped because they are not able to say what they mean. They have trouble being assertive. Now, if this is someone who has strong Pisces, this could be someone who gets trapped easily and manipulated because they have trouble being assertive or saying what they mean because they're afraid that if they say what they mean, it will come off mean or aggressive or and they want to be loving and kind and they're learning how to assert themselves with kindness and love. Now, this could be you. Um, someone here is definitely closing out a cycle of feeling trapped and learning to speak up and live authentically and be genuine and honest. Sometimes, okay, so one of you is like this and the other one of you runs their mouth and gets into trouble because of saying what they mean. Okay, I'm seeing connections to Asia. I'm seeing dark hair like light, a dark brown to black hair. Some of you, someone could like, like Asia or have a connection to Asia in some way. I'm seeing light skin to, to like tan skin. Angel. This person is going to be like an angel in your life. Now the black hair there. helping. This is someone who likes to help those in need with no expectation in return. So this is definitely someone who's very pure, and with the virgin here, pure and innocent. This person could literally be a virgin when you marry, or you could, but doesn't have to be. Um, but they do have a, a, a purity of heart, and, and their soul is very pure. And, yeah, they're just, they probably very guarded with their energy as well, very protective of themselves and very protected, because they could, like, cross their arms a lot, to protect their energy, possibly. Very pure, pure-hearted. Pure intentions, pure, just pure. You could be going through a lot of challenges in the beginning of this or when you meet, or there could be challenges you both have to overcome, or this person could be going through a challenging situation, possibly a stalemate, possibly indecision here not knowing which way to go, how to do, like feeling lost again. And so that could create some tension in the beginning, or this could be what you're coming out of individually. Um, feeling like there's pressures around this or frustrations, struggles, things needing to be reoriented, worked out. So it could be that you're both like dealing with challenges or it's going to be a challenge to get this off the ground. Someone here could have strong Scorpio in their chart with the animal. I feel this is going to be a very transformative relationship for both of you. Very passionate, very intense, possibly secretive in the beginning. Definitely very carnal and physical and a lot of lust here as well. Al almost possibly an obsession with each other very primal. There's a lot of mystery around this and that can be challenging. Very regenerative and destructive in the way that it can break down uh, some kind of a foundation that is challenging. to. So there's challenges here. Um, it could be that one or both of you are dealing with someone who is very manipulative and brings challenges to this connection before it gets off the ground, seventh house, but your, your union is going to be stronger than that. You're, you're going to be beautiful partners, very good intimacy, very good at being vulnerable with each other, really holding on to each other, a lot of hand holding, strong, strong, balanced, long lasting, true partnership, your best friends, definitely getting married, um, Libra energy very strongly here. You will be very generous toward each other. You will share a lot of 
resources and experiences and feelings and ideas. Definitely a contract. Um, there's like a, a legal contract here. Someone could have Gemini in their chart. Transforming. I feel there's messages in pile one for you guys because we got the butterfly there. Communication will be beautiful between the two of you. You will be both very flexible with each other. Possibly twin flames here, okay? Um, this is someone who's restless, definitely. Very fidgety. They are very adaptive. They like to keep it moving. They like to converse, talk. They like to get to learn new things. They're very curious. They seek variety in their uh, experiences in life. They are someone who is great to collaborate with and they, you will feel very connected to each other. And you will always be able to communicate well with each other where maybe in the past there was some difficulties in other situations that you both or one of you wasn't able to. There is a freedom here when it comes to um, communication true true communication you will be able to say what you what's on your mind and you know not be held that held against you or used against you or whatever um this person could be very studious and they're always moving around in some way you could meet this person in social setting through other people through relatives siblings or um at a social event could be someone you start a, a collaboration with. This person's very smart. This person has a brilliant mind. They could be someone who teaches a course or something online, possibly. 52. The feminine energy is very psychic, very intuitive here. And you have a very telepathic connection. The number 52 and the number 7, definitely a higher spiritual connection. Yeah, confirming that we have 6th chakra. You're going to have strong visions about each other, strong dreams here as well. The number 40 could be rele relevant. Uh, Archangel Metatron could be relevant. The feminine in this connection is like this goddess energy, and they will definitely feel like a goddess because there's such purity here. This will take its time. This will take patience, okay, to unfold divine timing. Archangels and angels are all around this divine energy, the number 16 and the number 7. Highly, highly spiritual connection. Um, yeah, it will. you will have to be patient through some challenges here, okay? And it will take time because of the challenges, mm, possibly because of certain entrapments or manipulation of other people. Um, this is someone who likes the opinions of others. They like to listen to everyone, and so it may confuse them, the information that comes through, and it may have them lost because, especially if this is a masculine, they don't really trust their intuition, and I feel the feminine is going to help them with this. If this is the feminine, you're the masculine who probably has trouble trusting your intuition. Um, patience. This will take time. It's not going to be very fast happening. Because someone is still changing and letting go of attachments, especially anyone who, or whoever of you, whether it's you, this person, or both of you, whoever is letting go, whoever wears a strong mask to please uh, other people in their social environment or to accommodate or not ruffle any feathers, and whoever is controlled by their community or a certain person in their community, there, there's going to be, the challenge will be to let go of the mask that they use, that they fear if they take off, they will be judged, ridiculed, punished for it. And there's this time that, that's needed for this removal of the mask. Someone is trying to play a role here that they feel is expected of them. Um, and so that attachment or other attachments, there could be toxicity that they're attached to that they will have to remove that is challenging such as addictions codependency being even if it's being dependent on being controlled by other people or someone else there 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 will have to be changes taking place um we have sudden wealth here so you're going to feel like you've hit the jackpot with this person um now of course 
I'm not saying monetarily, even though this person could be wealthy, but that's not what I want to focus on here. The number 11 could be relevant. You could come into sudden wealth together with this person as you work together as well. Once someone, whoever's wearing the mask here or playing the role that they think they should play or mask they think they should wear, um, once they remove that, whoever this is, the change will be sudden wealth coming in because that mask that someone was wearing, that role someone was playing, was preventing that wealth from coming in. Oh, that's deep. Ascending, you will both, like whoever's wearing the mask will transcend the obstacles, learn and expand while preparing for union. So that's what's happening. That's the changes that need to take place. Someone needs to transcend obstacles, learn, expand, and allow themselves a new phase uh, through letting go of toxicity, toxic habits, behaviors, thoughts, or uh, people so that they can transcend these obstacles. And once that happens, the dragonfly, there needs to be a big, like a huge transformation here. Things will come to light once you connect, and a lot of change and adaptation and healing takes place um, for this to move forward. And once someone unblocks that, also finances will be unblocked as well. Children could be a factor. Your love life could be affected by children in some way, shape, or form in this connection or Someone could have children. You could end up having children because I see the mother energy here. Um, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, this is your soulmate. Beautiful. And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So not only is there like a legal contract here, there's also a honeymoon. There could be connections to Italy here. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's a lot of healing around parents here, either you or this person. That could be where the control comes from. Or someone who is a parent could be very controlling uh, and act like they're a parent. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to take some time from the beginning of your meeting until you actually get married. So maybe you already know who this person is. Maybe you've already waited because this is somewhat in the past. Um, it's at the beginning stages, so... But you're going to both plant some good seeds with each other, so it's also going to last a long time. And it's all there to create a sturdy, solid foundation here, which is there. Ace of Pentacles, to have a new beginning together that is long-lasting, stable, and prosperous, and healthy. The Sun, you're going to be very unique to each other. You're going to find a lot of joy in each other's presence. This person is like the sun in your life and vice versa. It's a very joyful energy once you both remove or whoever needs to remove the attachments here. It's like with the five of swords here, one or both of you are dealing with people who are very argumentative or try to fight against your connection or against the person in question. And it's a victory over the mental conflict once the masks are removed or the changes nine of pentacles yeah um before this comes together someone needs to become financially independent and stable on their own and possibly needs to be single the magician this is something you're definitely manifesting and you have all the resources to three of cups yeah there could be third party interferences before this is able to get off the ground. People like friends or family or... There could be options as well. Choosing between two. Yeah, the choice, the lovers there, but choosing the soulmate. Gemini energy here. Leo energy there. Choosing the soulmate. The soulmate will be chosen. The one and only. The one who is unique, who is unlike any other, who is the unicorn, who is there happily ever after and vice versa. Um, four of Cups, because someone is done with low vibrational thinking. And the reason why this may take some time is because someone is very stuck in thinking that they're either not good enough or there's people going up against this or their own mind is in conflict. And um, so there needs to be an overcoming and transcending and a transformation when it comes to these um, blocks here, energetic blocks that need to be removed for this to happen. 
but uh, definitely letting go of the option that is the option that one is dissatisfied with. The I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. You already know about this. You have an inner vision that is very strong. Someone will be leaving your life before this can happen or vice versa. And the month of March could be significant here in some way, shape or form for a new beginning. This could start as a friendship as well, and success. This will be a success. Um, after March, you will feel there will be success. Someone will, you will be chosen or something like that. You're very close to achieving your goal, so I feel this is very close to happening for you. Lotus flower, yeah, you've been through a lot, and we have the number 17, but you can be hopeful. There is healing here. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So there's going to take patience. But this is your wish come true with the star there. And with the 17, 1 plus 8, sorry, 1 plus 7 is an 8. It's going to be long-lasting and prosperous and healthy. Forgiveness. You will have to forgive certain things here, especially if a long time is, if it's taking a long time. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. So both of you could be letting go of and forgiving Pat yourself or the past or the other. In this case, the number 29 could be relevant. The number two, like attracts like. You're both going to attract each other because you really like everything about each other. And it's saying if you long for more love, be more loving. So this could be something you or this person or both of you have to work on focusing on love to bring this together and looking for the good in everyone, especially this person and even the people that may be trying to interfere here because that will create better energy around you. Someone here could be of the year of the dragon in Chinese astrology doesn't have to be the number 24 could be relevant as well as number six. Definitely a lot of love, prosperity and abundance for this relationship but also some healing that needs to take place on one or both sides here. I hope this was um, clarifying to you. I hope this brought you the clarity that you seek. It was a pleasure to read for you guys. If you feel this is not your pile, go ahead and choose another one. Let me know how this resonated for you in the comments section. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps to bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon, and if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notification. Um, my healing bracelets are um, in a link in the description box with a special discount code. And if you'd like to learn about my services, you can email me. You can find that in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome all of you who chose the moth. This is going to be your reading about your future spouse. If you're new to the channel, welcome, love to have you here. Go ahead and subscribe if you like the channel so that you can then hit the bell and be notified of future uploads on the channel. If you like these videos, hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. And if you feel someone would benefit from this message, go ahead and share this reading with someone. If you can't watch it right now, go ahead and save it. All right, jumping into your reading. Who is your future spouse? Someone here could have strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart, or this person could, if that's not you, and by strong uh, le strong air in your chart, I mean uh, placements like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, or North Node, or Midheaven, for example, okay? And this is like a moth to a flame kind of relationship. Um, someone here could be impulsive, hasty, a little bit wishful right now, enthusiastic and whimsical. If this is you, hello. If it's not you, this is your person. You could be someone who idealizes other people. You could be a little bit jittery. You could have, have a hard time finishing projects, or this person could if this is not you. Um, but you know, if you are someone who has a hard time finishing projects, that's exactly what you need to focus on doing and prioritize that over everything else right now because that's what's going to help you come into balance, okay? This is a sense that someone knows that the grass is greener on the other side. It's not a, a question of, is the grass greener on the other side? Or the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener on the other side. I don't know what that means to whom.
Maybe you're used to being disappointed. And you've been through a lot of trials and tribulations. Or maybe this person has, if that is not you. Okay. Someone's past loved one is very invested in this reading or in you, in you finding a future spouse. Who may that be, if you want to share in the comments? Wild. Okay, this person is definitely going to trigger your wild side or they're very wild. What is the saying? Um, keep me safe and I'll keep you wild, something like that. Someone likes the color red or looks really good in red. The number 15 could be relevant. The number 6. A guiding light. Into the wild. Very attractive person. Dark hair. Black hair, possibly. Light skin. Oh, could also have darker skin and light brown to dark brown hair. Ooh, wild and sexual very sensual person, connection. Maybe this is you, and this is how they see you. Maybe this is both of you. We'll find out further on. The number four could be relevant. Very enticing, tempting, inviting, kind of beautiful body, like very attractive, very sensual, very passionate, like a moth to a flame. Yeah, the flame represented in all this red car color. So very like, very confident, sure of themselves, or maybe you're this way, very stable, very trusting and trustworthy rescuer. This person likes to rescue others. They could be like a, a lifesaver, as in like Baywatch, or just first aid kind of person, or... They could, um, there's someone who likes to really provide strength and support to others because they're very sure of themselves and very confident and very strong and stable people. And so they do act out of love. They don't really expect reward for, for what they do. They just are this way. They like to save people. They like to help people. They like to support people. Oh, they're a li like a lifesaver. Look at their heart. And again, that dark hair, black hair, possibly. Uh, dark brown to black hair. Could have some highlights in their hair. Engineer. This person could be an engineer. Okay, the masculine could have, like, bold hair. Or, not bold hair. Why, why do I say bold hair? <sighs> could like to shave their head, or they just don't have hair. But this person could be an engineer. You could be an engineer. For all I know, you could have a lot of hair and be an engineer. I don't know. Um, feel for the feminines. This could be someone who is, doesn't have hair, okay? Ability to give creative energy a practical expression. Talent for designing resolutions to call it common dilemmas. So this person has the, the mind of an engineer and they are good at creating solutions for things that other people aren't really good at finding. So they like to put their creativity in practice. They're good at that. Fourth house. Yeah, things in the bedroom are going to go really, really well. You're going to feel like home to each other. You possibly meet through people from your past or through family, or you've known each other from a very long time ago from where you both come from, or you have similar roots or something about your roots have something in common. Um, something about your background could be similar. You feel comfort with each other. You, Someone here could be a chef or cook really well or someone could be doing real estate or have done real estate in the past. But you see each other as each other's self shelter. It's like coming together is like an act of self-care almost. You rejuvenate each other. And you, um, someone could be very much in their shell, and you both like to spend a lot of private time together, away from the world. You could create a family together, have a nice house together, very comfortable house. Try and things will flow really beautifully between the two of you. It will feel very harmonious. You will enrich each other's lives, energize each other, enjoy each other. Um, 
support each other, indulge in each other. It's so beautiful. It's like water and deep emotions for each other as well. Libra, someone here could have strong Libra in their chart. It's kind of ideal relationship. Like if someone were to put rose colored glasses on, even if you take them off, it's still ideal. It's not like the grass really is greener. Harmonious, compatible, cooperative, balanced. Um, there's something very artistic even about the way you come together or very whimsical and very like different. Um, this person is very aesthetically pleasing, very graceful, very considerate. They're a good judge of character. They're a good judge in general, but they're not judgmental, if that makes sense. They, they, they're someone who can see both sides of a situation. Mercury, good communication between the two of you. Gemini energy coming through, Virgo energy coming through. This is someone who is good at analyzing things, good with their words, you know, very active thinker, very active brain connecting the dots, very smart, um, could be into trading something, could be online, um, could be a teaching something online or teaching something. Um, very curious, very aware, socially aware. You have a good banter together. You have good communication. You are very like-minded. You share visions. You share the same vision with this person. Um, the masculine here could be wealthy or could be really good with their money or very practical, Very could be a business owner, whether that's you or this person. Uh, could be very stable financially or always working on financial stability, very healthy-minded also. Um, this is the husband energy as well. So the number 43 could be relevant, the number 7. The masculine could have too much of an emphasis on the material world and the feminine could come in and rescue this masculine with their heart and their love from all that material focus. Yeah, angel of love. Definitely angelic connection and supported, surrounded by angels. The number 49 could be relevant, the number 4. Someone here could have some red in their hair, or they could be ginger, redhead, something like that. Full of love. Door to value. Yeah, I mean, money's definitely not going to be a problem when you come together. The number 31 could be relevant. Yeah, there will be challenges, financial challenges that you will always overcome. The garden and the gate, the number 30. There could be some shyness in the beginning of this because it's um, unexplored territory, new territory, and it would imply exploring beyond what is known. I honor someone here could have been in the army or could be in the army, could wear some sort of a uniform. Definitely the masculine is very, very respected here. And will definitely honor this feminine energy. Someone here could literally have gone to war, but that doesn't apply to everyone. 2 plus 5, 25 could be relevant. 2 plus 5 is a 7. Highly spiritual connection. We have 7, 7. Engagement ring. Yeah, there's going to be an engagement ring. Partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. You're going to spend the rest of your lives together once you get married. You're going to feel complete in each other's presence. And yeah, this is like a formal, a formal marriage love call. We're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of calls where you express your love toward each other, messages of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Passion, very passionate. Your heart and soul will sing with joy. So love and passion. That's beautiful. Let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. So it could be a phase where you're going to need some help from your friends about this. Maybe to free yourself from limiting beliefs, circumstances, or situations in your life. Maybe you will have to take back control of your life. Especially if you're like in a golden cage kind of situation in your life. If you know what that means. Or... Especially if you have to let go of something financially to be able to embrace this. Your money will be okay. Don't worry. Um, 
but it's like there's definitely a challenge here that needs to be overcome in the beginning. You deserve love. Maybe someone here struggles with understanding that you are lovable or this person struggles with that and they need to free themselves from that belief or vice versa. Eight of Cups. This will happen when you're both willing to walk a more meaningful path in life once you walk away from some limiting thoughts or circumstances, especially the masculine, I would say. Hierophant, Hierophant, this is definitely going to be a long-lasting union, very committed, formal, higher-level commitment. Six of Pentacles, there will have to be adjustments in the practical world for this to happen, but a very balanced give and take here. Eight of Pentacles, you're going to spend a lot of time together, possibly working on something together. Money will be okay. Eight of Swords, but someone is stuck here in the beginning. Stuck in their mind or stuck in a circumstance because of money or work. Okay. Because of a financial balance. Three of Swords, okay. Someone may need to walk away from a third party or third party situation here. This could start off like with a decision between two people. King of Wands. And needing to be confident to take action here. To follow the heart, passion, the Empress. Someone here could end up getting pregnant. Or definitely this is married woman. Energy here. And possibly a pregnancy. The Emperor. Oh, this is your higher level soulmate. Okay, okay. But I'm seeing three people. Eight of Pentacles. What are you going to work on? This person may have to decide what they're going to work on, what you're going to work on, what you decide. And again, stuck energy in the beginning because of material circumstances. The egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. So again, there will have to be some kind of a plan and hard work here in place. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that will require careful handling. Yes. May could be significant here for this connection. And love. It's definitely a love story here, okay? There's definitely true love. Um... The answers you need are coming, so maybe you don't have all the answers. Maybe you're looking for answers here. Gemini, energy strongly. Something happening around mid-December here as well, between May and December now I'm seeing. Um, closing a cycle, getting answers, possibly getting closure or celebrating something, coming full circle. Be in the present and dream of the future. You possibly already had dreams of this person, of the future with this person. There could have been astral travel. When we dream, everything is possible. So you dreamt this into being, is what I'm seeing here. The number 40 could be relevant, as well as the number 4. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. Okay, well, yeah, someone may have been giving someone else attention. And the way someone gives someone attention has also been very attractive to someone. I don't know. The number 41 and the number 5. Someone's uh, kindness, generosity is very appreciated by the other. Yeah, simple acts of kindness. I feel you're both very kind people, and animals really love you guys. The number five, changes. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So you both are people who make everyone around you very happy. Be supportive. It's going to be very supportive and very kind connection. And you're go both going to make genuine efforts to show that you care. The number 45 could be relevant. The number 9. Okay, guys, this is your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. Extra content is on Patreon. And if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. 
If you want to know about my healing bracelets, you can find a link in the description box with a special discount code. And if you want to learn about my services, life purpose reports, readings, stuff like that, you can find my email in the description box and I can send you a list of all the options I have available. It was a pleasure to read for everyone today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye. Welcome to all of you who chose the crow. This is going to be all about your future spouse, the one you will marry. If you're new to the channel, welcome, love having you here. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can then hit the bell and be notified for future uploads on the channel. And if you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. It helps me. It helps you bring you more. And if you feel someone would benefit from this video, share the video. And if you can't watch it right now, just save it for later. All right. I am seeing air signs here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in your chart, in their chart, seeing communication. I'm seeing someone who's extremely smart. Now, this could be you, this could be your person, this could be both of you. Someone who is extremely smart. Excellent communication. I see following each other around, almost like stalking each other or something like that, or someone stalks someone, someone follows someone. Someone is very interested in seeing what the other is doing. Someone surprises someone with their wittiness with their intelligence with their ability to solve um, problems someone is definitely very smart here okay very creative um, psychic someone's psychic very strong person or people very clear-headed at times hypersensitive someone here practices daily meditation or should if not Someone has a glimpse into the unknown, into the unseen. Someone really can see behind the veil of what most people can't see. Someone's mind holds three realities all at the same time, past, present, and future. Someone is very balanced when it comes to a healthy diet, exercise, having good friends around, regularly studying and self-studying as well. This could be you, this could be your person, this could be both of you, okay? Cycles. You probably had many cycles with this person already, so this could be someone you know. I'm seeing light brown to dark brown hair, light skin, fair skin. The number six could be relevant. Alchemy. Dark brown to black hair, the number 27, sorry, the number 25 could be relevant, the number seven. Cycles. Someone here is an alchemist. Someone transmute negative to positive energy. So someone is highly spiritual. Priest, yeah. Facilitates spiritual commitments, serves as a channel of spiritual energy. Yeah, someone is a channeler, a psychic of spiritual energy, very connected to the divine, an alchemist. Prince, and someone is very romantic, charming. Someone's going to give someone flowers. Now light brown hair, dark brown hair, dark skin coming through as well. Eighth house, a very intimate connection. Very sexy, very sensual, very vulnerable with each other. Um, you're going to know each other like no one else knows anyone else. Like You're going to be like, keep each other's secrets, tell each other secrets. You're going to know all there is to know about each other more than anyone else does. You could be a little bit obsessed with each other. It could be like secretive between you. Um, it could be that this triggers a Kundalini awakening in one or both of you. Sex will be really good. Um, you could end up having a business together, being like business partners as well. Sagittarius, this could be a long distance connection at first, or you could be from different cultures, different places. Different countries, different cities, different countries, at least countries, and different continents, possibly. It's going to take you both on a journey, On an, it's going to feel like an adventure. You're going to cross boundaries for each other in the literal and the, meta, the metaphorical sense. Um, it's going to take a leap of faith. It's going to take a risk-taking, but it's going to be very expensive if you take that risk. There could be air travel involved here. You're going to feel boundless with each other. You're going to be very honest with each other. Very extremely honest with each other. You're going to be each other's happiness, each other's joy, each other's laughter. High vibrational connection. It's just like it's going to feel warm, energized, happy, alive. 
a life force creation. You're going to create things together, or maybe a child, or maybe projects. Um, you're going to shine. This person shines to you. Father energy. This could be the father of your children. Ends up being, or you, or vice versa. Or you could be the father of this person's children, eventually in the future. But again, it makes your heart beat. Um, makes it makes the masculine feel like a man, if, and the feminine feel like a woman. Something like that. The numinous mystery. There's going to be a lot of mysterious things in the background, or this will be a mystery to others. Or something about this will be mysterious to both of you and take you both on a deep dive of learning about each other, learning about life, seeing life in a different way, getting access to other worlds together or new uh, spiritual experiences. It's going to test both of yours intuition and how to use it. Someone here definitely has psychic abilities. With the amethyst there, it could take letting go of previous addictions or codependencies or toxicity. There could be a connection to Egypt here. You're going to feel like one, connected to source when you're together. The cosmos, universal, the universe. It's going to trigger shadow work in both of you, and it's going to trigger getting to know about yourselves individually as well. You're going to learn... A lot about each other and individually about yourselves all tied up okay someone could be tied up in their mind or tied up in circumstances when this comes together or when you meet or, or maybe you have met the number 23 could be relevant the number five but this will change okay that's good news seven tied up in a community for whatever reason yeah you or this person or th th there could be like s the community interfering, therefore you having to keep this hush for whatever reason. Doors of Spirit, very spiritual connection, very like victorious connection with the 32 there. Uh, you're going to feel it's very successful and it's going to bring successful change to both of you. 23, 32, mirroring numbers, very spiritual connection. It's going to open up, it's going to open both of you to your own souls. Very sensual connection, again, very creative, very inspiring, very lit, very attractive toward each other, very sensual. It's going to get your both of your creative juices going. It's going to um, lift that creative block in both of you. You're going to feel like a child again, childlike energy, curiosity toward each other, toward self, toward the world. It's going to spark a new will to live and see the world and learn. Um, very attracted to each other, very attractive person. Yeah, it's definitely going to spark an end of a cycle and inspire change. Could involve a relocation, like moving with bags on a plane, on a car, in a car, whatever. I'm seeing Europe. I'm seeing London now, for whatever reason. Passion, very passionate. You really set each other's hearts on fire. It's insane chemistry. You really like each other equally. You have a lot of fun together. It feels like it feels like paradise. You're probably going to visit an island together. Maybe this is something you talk about or have spoken of. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yes, this is worth waiting for. So that tells me it's going to take time. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now. Maybe you've been waiting for a very long time. Express your love. This will be very expressive in terms of love and romantic gestures being expressed. Engagement. Yes, there will be an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And yes, very soon you're going to have to clearly decide what you want and that will come to you. It's going to take a decision and you're going to have to make that dec decision sooner than later. The devil. Yeah, someone is tied up in toxicity or to toxic people or person or community or habits, thoughts, whatever. Capricorn energy, the number 15 could be relevant, the number 6, the star. Someone needs to heal from a previous connection to a person or a community of people or thoughts pertaining to how one should behave within this community. Um, this is a wish come true for both of you. The number 17 could be relevant, the number 8. This is your Prince Charming for those of you who are feminine energies wanting that energy strength, the strong bond. A lot of lust, very strong bond between the two of you. Um, 
it's really going to test your strengths, okay? Someone could be there in their ego in the beginning. And that's why it takes so long because of the, this toxicity. The ego comes from fear, comes from being controlled or needing to be in control. The hermit is definitely going to take someone really going within and consulting with their higher self. It's a spiritual journey. It will take time. It will take like someone moving back to come forward, uh, isolating themselves to consult with their higher self. Someone may hold back a lot because of ego and fears um, before this comes together, but then they charge forward when they're ready. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Energy, air travel possibly, and movement forward once someone has seen the light, okay? The Fool, this will take a leap of faith away from toxicity, away from whatever's tying someone up. Could be a person again, could be thoughts, could be a community. This will take a leap of faith. It's going to take courage, okay? So that's what needs to be activated. Ace of Swords, someone can't unsee the truth, and someone is really deciding on here on their healing, on their what they're hopeful of. And someone has a lot of like physical tension here, like sexual tension, and really want to do something about it. Um, yeah, the truth. The truth sets someone free. The truth is undeniable. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. And this is a victory. But someone is in their ego. Mm. Wants to make sure. Yeah, holding on to certain beliefs. Maybe worried about money. And three of wands. This could be a long distance situation. Or there needs to be a waiting for things to happen. Longing. A lot of longing and yearning and waiting for ships to come in, but the ships will come in, whoever's in that situation. Cheerful. Someone new is entering your life, so it could be someone new that has entered, will enter. Again, that black, dark hair. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Yeah, this is going to be slow moving, but it will surely get ahead. It's surely going to happen. July could be significant here, especially last week of July and August. Marriage. Someone's getting married in July. I don't know if it's this year or next year, but it's July. It's a July marriage. Expect powerful change. Yeah, changes need to take place, and they will be powerful. This is a whole new beginning for both of you or for one of you. Look to your inner strength. It's going to take strength and courage to take this leap of faith on whoever's end. The number 11 here could be relevant. You are stronger than you realize. So whoever's struggling with this, yeah, you have it in you. Be willing to express your love. Yeah, someone has to be willing to express their love to receive love. The number six could be relevant. I'm seeing it looks like a baby, so some of you. That could be significant. Um, the number 37 could be relevant. Um, someone could be having troubles having the faith that this will happen, so act as if your partner is already here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you, so you will always consider them, so you're creating energetic space for them. Ooh, this is true love, and it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of love. Your kisses are going to be like honey. You're going to love kissing each other. The number 30 could be relevant, and the number 3. Always making progress. And look, for some of you, there's already like um, soul baby, soul wanting to come through, and it's a boy. For those of you who are wanting, willing, and able to have children, okay? Spirit baby, always, already in the making. So... Beautiful, beautiful reading, guys. If this was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you today. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. And if it did not, go ahead and choose a new pile. Um, thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing these videos. It helps the channel. It helps me bring you more. If you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Give it a thumbs up. And there's extra content on Patreon if you're wondering. Information for that is in the description box. And for my healing bracelets, you can find a special discount code in the link in the description box as well. And for my services, you can find my email in the description box where you can email me and I can send you the list of all my services, including readings and life purpose reports. It was a pleasure to read for all of you today. Have a beautiful day. See you next time. Bye.